So, I'm going to continue the world quest and expected plan. This is where we're, take, we're chasing after uh, Mocker or whatever his name is. The guy who's face on a punch. Lead the way and stay close to me. And then it cuts out. But it don't give you fucking time to read the dialogue. Is it in that cave? Wait, now that we've gone far enough, what does your device say, Little Miss Institute? No reaction. At all. There's no residual acarium energy here. Strange. I've already tuned its sensitivity up to max. The acarium energy flow doesn't dissipate that easily. This prototype was made by Mr. Edwin himself. There's no way it doesn't work. Huh? H how come they in those mecha behind them? I knew it. Paten. How much did Lulier promise you? An amount I'd never earn slaving under you in a lifetime. It's nothing personal, Chesvart, but I have months to feed, mouths to feed. Don't you feel dirty getting mixed up with the likes of Lulier, taking his money like that? Heh. <laughs> Boss, we all roll in the same mud puddle. The money we earn, it's never clean. You're the only one riding your high horse, saying this business is no good. That business harms people like you're some kind of saint. In the end, you're no money and win no people. Only a fool like Lemakurek would stay loyal to you. We have sailed together for a long time. I'm sure Morgan will make his death painless. No, no, no. Lemakurek is still on the ship. Don't worry. He has the self Ray self-defense device, which was personally modified by Mr. Edwin himself. He'll be fine. You only just came up with that name, didn't you? Hmm. Come on, Kobar. Kobol. Hurry up and take care of them. Lulier's money is waiting for us to cl claim it. Stop telling me what to do. You, go get them. Okay, we're gonna do this. Order guide you. Life goes on. Ship on us! Cue the spotlight! And voila! Turn to the ship. Turn to the ship. This device sure is handy. Uh, looks like Lumber took care of that guy all by himself. Boss, you're back. Looks like you were ambushed too. That means Lillier has bought both Peton and Morgan off. Cobalt was to lead us into an ambush. Sadly, they didn't expect me to be there. Just a motley crew. Wait a second. If they were bought off by Lillier, then what about when you were talking to him? Hmm, that can only mean that he had that meeting so he could eliminate me. Brutal, but that sounds like him, alright. Then I suppose it's a good thing that you lot came out of the blue to mess with their plans. Otherwise, given the narrow space, we may not have made it out alive. Still, they've attacked us twice in a row now. Could they have something to hide? Let's see. Lillier's boss. Looks like Lillier's employer is Konsani, who is from Shaznaya. Womodolos Harbor is not an international port, so if the goods are being transported inland, this doesn't seem to be about a cross-border business. 
Constantine is shipping large quantities of household goods and materials inland from Lumados Harbor. Koshak claims to cast a shadow over the whole harbor, so he is clearly someone of extraordinary capabilities. Capability. It seems that even Lelir cannot compare. Considering how many people have been hired to help, the job Consini once done must be quite tough. Koval has been hired by Lelir to take Nacker and the Icarium he carries to some place inside Lumados Harbor. Consini isn't shipping those goods inland to sell them, but to give them to Nacker for his use or for research. Nolier must be aware that he will lose his business, his job, if Consini realizes that Kosovar is more capable, hence the attacks. It's clear that Consini and Necker are working together, and that the former has delivered the later to a location somewhere inland from Lumidos Harbor. So those three are, are all in league with each other. That Consini guy is the is like the owner of a restaurant getting Lillier to find a chef to cook for Necker. I told Lillier to beat it, so he went and found someone else to work for him. And then he wanted to silence me. Hmm. Feels like someone who messed up trying to cover their own mistake. Ha, huh, I see. Well, that certainly does sound like the right amount of trashy for Lillier. You may be little, but you're quite brainy, you know? Hey, you can keep the first part of the sentence to yourself. Anyway, now we're sure that Nacker is in Lumidos Harbor, and we've narrowed down the search area by quite a bit. But there, but things are never that simple, are they? Um, boss, we better interrogate them to see if they have any useful information. Hmm, good idea. Patin, you know the rules, yes. I I'm at your disposal, Mr. Chesavert. Good. At least you accept the consequences of your own action. Limerick, tie him and Morgan up real good. Go to your cabin and rest, and remember to put on some earplugs. Let's just say that this won't be a silent night. After some contemplation, you decide to sit down and rest. In the middle of the night, you are awakened by strange muffled noises and the sound of something heavy falling into the water. Outside of your cabin, did something or someone fall into the water? Should you go help? Wait, Chosefer warned you that this will not be a silent night. You walk to the door and grab the handle. The commotion outside has quieted down by now and only the muffled sound of waves hesitantly lapping against the hole remains as you stand hesitantly before the door. What awaits outside? A question? An answer? Regardless, with just a twist of your wrist, you can verify. Certain thoughts of yours, can't you? You hesitate. Despite already having the answer, you still want to ask for Fusilier's opinion. You turn around to see and see how Fusilier is trying to cover her ears, pretending to be fast asleep. In the end, you suppress your and Paimon's curiosity and decide not to not investigate. You just hope that this night will pass quickly. I hope you all will, you're all well rested. Patin and Morgan have told us everything. How? They were all bent on killing us not so long ago. Well, that you don't need to know, little Miss Institute. Limerick, tell them. Aye, aye. To put it simply, with their cooperation, we have learned that two shipments will be delivered to a certain location today. Unfortunately, those two don't know the precise location. All they know is the time when the shipments will arrive at the shore. So more guesswork on our part. I have an idea. We may be able to find some clues using this energy flow detector. If that place is indeed where Knacker is hiding, then people going in and out will carry traces of a Karam energy. Oh, that means we'll be able to have... Be, well, that means that all we have to do is use this device, and beep 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 beep, we'll know exactly where to go. What do you mean beep beep beep? 
Only those obsolete relics do that. I'm using the latest silent model. Beeping or not, that's a good shout. Now, no time to waste. Let's move. About those two. They've gone back to where they where all sailors come from. No need to worry about them. Anchors away. Transportation. Go to the real drop point. We're almost there. It seems like the shipment has arrived yet. Let's wait here for a bit. Keep your ears sharp. They might show up at any second. Everyone finds a place to hide and waits for the courier couriers to arrive. Look they're over there. Are those the people we're waiting for? Must be. They seem to be handing off the shipment. We'll definitely start transporting it. They'll definitely start transporting it soon. Why are we eavesdropping again? But this time we're eavesdropping on the treasure hoarders. This is how the Institute does things. That's not true. Oh, so sorry. Let's follow him, but be careful. Don't get caught again. What do you mean, again? had to wait for them to catch up to it. That's hilarious. Who are you? What are you doing here? Sis, you found me. You've got a keen nose. We'll leave the thinking to you, Miss Institute Lady. You're the brains, and we're the brawn, after all. Huh? Hey, wait, what do you mean by that? Limerick, Traveler, let's take them down. Stabilize! Rise. Surprise! <laughs> Valir, blast him. He's already paid the bulk of the payment, but he can't afford the rest. Chill, man. We're all underdogs here. Don't blame the messenger. Boss, what should we do with him? Oh, wait, stop. How much is Lilir paying you? I'll pay you the same amount. Or how about this? Let me live and I'll take Lilir out and grab his money and then we can split the cash. There's no need for any of that. I just have a few questions for you. Answer them to my satisfaction. You live, or your head will roll. Roll! The Lear hired you to get the shipment here. That's it. Did he say who they're for? I, I don't know. All the Lear said was to leave the shipments here, and that someone else would come pick them up. The previous two runs were exactly like that, just at different locations. I once stayed behind to see who the buyer was, but they didn't show. Another group of people took the shipment and headed that way. I dared not linger any longer, so I took off. So are you satisfied? Good enough. Get out of here. You'd better stay away from Olier. He's up to no good. Boss, should I follow him? No need. Let him go and cause some trouble for Lolier. So, he said that someone would come to pick the shipments up, hmm? Institute lady, it's time for you to get that device of yours beeping. We need to move. Didn't I say this is the latest model and it doesn't beep? Now, 
disappear. The readings are high. There are clear residual energy readings from all around this house. Knacker, why would you go through all the trouble to build a house here? Or he took it... He must have some strong nerves. Or he took it from someone else. The lock on this door doesn't seem to, too sturdy. I think I can break it open. Stand back. Hey, don't just bash the door in. It might be someone's home, you know, that got irradiated for some reason. If that's the case, we'll compensate them. It's your investigation, so the money should come out of the Institute, naturally. Huh? What are you doing in my house? Whoa, you showed up, Knack. Wait, you're not Knacker, but you're wearing the Institute's uniform. You're here to deliver the supplies, aren't you? Just leave the things at the back of the house. Can't you read the note on the door? You're... M Mr. Edwin? How do you know me? Ugh. <sighs> Did Olivia leak my name? No matter. Just hurry and get me the supplies. The suppressors su the suppressors will be ready soon. Hmm? Why are you staring at me? I must be seeing things from flying too fast. Well, well, well. Edwin Estinghouse. Come to back to life, I see. Oh no, the Institute is going to get blown up again. Aren't you supposed to have died in the explosion at the Institute? What are you talking about? Stop wasting my time. I'm in a hurry to complete my research. I'm Fossilier from Section 3. You were my research advisor, and you helped me modify the Phenomian Ray self-defense device. What? Section 3? What ray? Oh, now I remember. You're talking about that highly inefficient radiation device, aren't you? What was the researcher's name again? I can't remember. Whatever the case, that device was a solo project with no real practical value. Wait, you must be the honorary senior researcher, Traveler. Your reputation precedes you. You know me. Looks like you didn't quite get blown away far enough. Haha, <laughs> Consini told me about what you've done and the title you've earned. I have to say, the title suits you well. Just look at you, all hardworking and... Ahem. <clears throat> but of course, I know full well why you're here, honorary senior researcher. You must be here for the Curium Connect Corps, which that slippery fish, Knacker, stole. I apologize, but despite his lack of creative creativity, pedestrian research skills, and how he's been constantly messing up my facility, we're still in the same boat, so I cannot reveal his location to you. I hear you, sir. However, I found this map in the house that marks a certain area. Gah! How did you find this map? But no matter. His precise location won't be that easy to find. You are welcome to go and look for him, but trust me, you can make five loops around the place and you won't find him. That place took us five full years to build. I still remember that when that I still remember that when that place was completed, I restarted five projects and rebuilt five devices. If I were still in the institute, my salary would have quadrupled. So what's happening now, Travel? Traveler? He's monologuing. Something must have triggered his inner institute scientist. Limerick. Stay here and keep an eye on this guy. Miss Institute, I mean, Miss Fulsilier, this will be a dangerous trip, so why don't you give me the device? I'll handle things going forward. No, let's get moving. I I want to leave. Wow, she seems pretty upset. What happened? I thought she worshipped Edwin. Edwin didn't even notice her. Good luck, you will never find him. Five rounds, you hear? If you keep this up for five more seconds, I'm going to punch you five times. Oh my. Well, uh... Oh, it is an actual new quest thingy. So, uh, let me collect my reward things. There we go. 
Okay, so that's going to be the end of that quest line. I'll pick up the rest of it later on, and I'll see you guys later.